Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and I know this is a video after a while but anyways, uh, you all must be a little heartbroken with the massive cutoff of 109 in JE Advanced so whoever, I mean, if you were a 2024 aspirant then you must have been a little heartbroken at least or if you are uh, preparing for 2025 or 2026 then probably you are a little afraid because of this year's cutoff, okay so it's okay uh, you need to prepare harder but in this video i i would like to show you that why the cutoff of 2024 advanced is justified okay so i mean look here's a question i mean lot of uh, a lot of you said that physics was hard uh, the paper 2 physics was actually a little hard but i mean Overall, I personally felt that it was on 2023 level, okay. So, here I have, I have talked to many people and many have uh, said to me that this question they felt that this was quite hard, okay. I will try other questions too, but I mean I have tried many of them, but people said to me that this question was pretty much hard for them. So, okay, so let's try to solve it very simply and in very short time okay so i'm starting this at one and a half minutes have already passed so okay so this is a basically just a simple SHM problem and let me construct the diagram first here we have a ball like this and here we have a fixed charge like this okay and here a charge is oscillating okay due to the repulsion from this other charge so let's draw these lines and we will have a force here right i mean uh, there is a force acting a force is acting here like as as it is repulsion so we will have a restoring force in this direction this is Q and this is also Q. Q mass M. Yes, I'm going to write. This is Q and actually the mass is not required that much, but let's get along. And so this was the diagram. So this radius is R and just let this angle be theta, okay? So this angle will be what? This angle, though we do not need it. But this will be 2 theta. Okay. So what is this distance? You know what? You know that force is nothing but Q squared divided by 4 pi epsilon naught X square. Where X is the distance. And let's write D squared here. Okay. Because we will need X. So actually no. Right. Let's write X squared. Okay. So and what is x here here the distance between these two charges are nothing but this is theta and this is toward this distance so this is this is nothing but 2r cos theta right ah yeah it's 2r cos theta okay so let's write like this 2r cos theta and now you know what f is what f is m d2 and or let me use the symbolic form like this this is uh, your acceleration and so this will be q squared divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and x is your 2r cos theta this whole square and now the only catch was that this was the net force and this is in this direction okay so I mean in the opposite direction to be more accurate because this is repulsion but anyway we need the this force which is the restoring force okay so we need this component and this angle is uh, our nothing but pi by 2 minus theta so this compo the horizontal component of this force will nothing but i mean we will just have a sine theta 
multiplied here okay so that was the whole point and now you just use small angle approximation and from that you will just get that this will be q square theta and this will be nothing but 16 and this is um, r square cos square theta oh cos square theta is almost one so no point of writing that okay so it looks a little bit odd okay now it looks correct so now what is theta this was theta and this is the displacement this is x okay and this is 2r this this is the diameter this is our 2r so theta is nothing but x divided by 2r okay so you may write that this is q square x actually you could have replaced sin theta from right here I mean sin theta is almost equal to tan theta so anyway you will get x theta is equal to x by 2r and if you will write this this will be pi epsilon naught r cube and now we are done if you write the acceleration which is x double dot this will be q square actually okay let's just ignore the minus sign here for now this will be um, just a correction that the radius was capital R. I have used small r throughout. Anyway, that doesn't matter much. And this will just come out to be r cube m and x will be multiplied here. You all are familiar that this is the SHM equation and uh, this is x double dot which is nothing but d2 x d2 is equal to minus omega square x. And if you compare that with this, then you will get that omega square is this okay so your omega square is nothing but this thing this whole thing pi epsilon naught r cube m okay so see that this question you could you should have solved in just i mean at most two minutes okay many of you said that this was a hard question but i felt that i mean i took a lot of time to explain to you that's for sure but uh, if you if you are solving this you are not explaining this to anyone okay so you I feel that this was a two minute question and if you even did not need to write all this okay so just just look at my calculations it is only this long the one line two line three line four line five line and there's the final answer okay this this was just a five line question and you had to work on a little bit of the diagram and the geometry just that okay so i hope that this this clears your doubt i mean the 2024 paper was full of questions like this so that's so that's why only that the cutoff is was like that 109 that's a huge cutoff for sure but Questions like these are uh, like these are pseudo difficult. This looks difficult, but is not at all. Okay, so I mean, people many people figured out that the question paper was like that, and that's why you have had this cut off. Okay, so I mean, if you are 2025 aspirant, then keep preparing. I have nothing to say for you, and if you are done with JE Advanced, then okay, I, I am still with you. I mean you can you can have be connected with me and anyway we'll see you in the next video till then bye and anyone whoever you are I hope that this video gives you a little bit idea that why the the massive cutoff of 109 is reached okay so yeah that's all and see you in the next video